Hey everyone, welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 2 Part 11. Let's go see Kenny. After some quick time events. Damn it, game! Oh, what do we do? We need your help with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katja, Sarita, no peace, no rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. Well, we do need you. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. Hmm. <sighs> I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. <laughs> Shit, does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Why is there a puddle of blood in the tent? Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. And that means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem... I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking... How do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I don't know if Jane will come back. I think she's scared about the baby. That's what I was afraid of. That's why it might be a good idea to have you go with her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Let's go then. See what Jane is up to. Oh, she found a visitor center. All right. 
Oh, she's just sitting there. Come on, Clem. Can we go faster? Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. You know, you don't seem okay. Huh? Well, yeah, but who is okay? Let's just focus on this right now. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. And one thing I learned in this game, it doesn't give you breaks. It breaks you. Well, well, well. They have a frickin' cannon. Check this out. A gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. Let's see how it breaks. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand at this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Find anything? No, not even trash. Hmm. Nothing else here. Let's go to the cannon. Let's see. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. So what to do? I guess it's broken. Probably need money to operate it. What else is there? Uh, how about this one? There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. I'll distract him so you can sneak up behind him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Hey. I'm just a kid. 
please don't hurt me. <laughs> Do you understand me? Yes. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Huh? Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more gun. Oh, it's just medicine. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. This medicine is all she has. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh, I need to keep it... I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No! You are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you you take my sister's medicine. You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it, Clementine. We need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Oh, Clementine, what do we do? You must we don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? No, no, I'm I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. Uh, Medicine, Clementine. No, 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 no. You cannot take those from me. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Bursa. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, what are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. What mess? Threatening some stupid kid? I thought we were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. I'm worried. He might be dangerous. Well, I, uh, I'm glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's 
cold. Maybe. But nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. Are you any better? Is anyone? Whoa, whoa, hold on. I, I didn't mean... I just want to survive. And that means picking the right sides. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. Oh, this is not gonna end well. I have a bad feeling about that, kid. I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. I just hope he doesn't come back. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you, you're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. There's a room up there that might be good for when Rebecca has the baby. Jane's trying to get it open. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Um... Alvin would be really proud of you right now. You think so? I hope you're right. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? Alvin told me that he thinks the baby's going to be a girl. Oh yeah? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. I've got a feeling this one's a boy. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ugh. Oh, shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust them, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on them. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Hey, Kenny. Can we talk to you? Are you okay, Kenny? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? I don't know. Plenty of reasons. Um, I think. What's around here? Oh, we can talk to Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Hey. Hey, Sarah. You know, Rebecca's starting. They were going to leave me, weren't they? Of course not. Luke tried really hard to get you to come with him. How come you didn't leave me? Because we're friends. I could never be that good of a friend. I just want my dad. I know. When he... when he gets here, we should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. Oh no. Sure. Sarah? Hey, I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be alright. Well, she's a lost case. Ah, eh, whatever. We tried. Let's see what's here. Parker's Run Memorial Museum. 1.2 miles, that's not close. Did those two kill these? I 
Hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. Well, he is right. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Why would you want to go empty-handed? Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. Good point. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Bonnie, I guess. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Well, you, well, you don't know what place. the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No. Do you see anything good? Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. Oh, Lee would love this place. Um, what else? What else is there? There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you step. Maybe this? A trinket. Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, <sighs> good point. <laughs> She's disappointed. Well, she tried. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. Empty. Ah. Let's go up. I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. Can't go up. I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now, you're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah, true enough. Oh. Look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Kenny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but... But it should do the trick. Good call. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Really? Can we go now? This is so slow. Alright, this will be it for part 11.